if you can stabilize the joints below it and above it. And if you can do that, guys, and stabilize those, those joints, there's a good chance a cast will work well for you. Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and if your doggy broke their leg, how would a veterinarian diagnose it? How would they manage it and fix it? That's today. Yeah. We're gonna talk about broken legs. So you can have very mild breaks and more intense breaks. And based on the break, we'll kind of depict how we're gonna approach it. So you get in there and we, we walk the doggy around and we're using it off and on, maybe not at all, but that allows me as a veterinarian to localize the leg. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is put the leg through some motion. I tend to grab the good leg first because it doesn't hurt, right? Number one, it doesn't hurt. And number two, it allows the dog to kind of like have a moment to kind of breathe before I go for the bad leg. When I manipulate the bad leg, of course, I'm looking for instability in the leg, any cracking or popping, but I'm not being aggressive. All I'm doing is putting the leg through its normal motion. I want to make sure flexion, extension, all of that is normal. And if, if, if it's limited at some point, there's a good chance I could have a break in, in a joint. Um, or if I go to move it and this part moves and this part doesn't move as much and it just kind of slides a little bit, it kind of gives me an idea of the location of the possible break. I really, really, really want to localize it down to the fingers or the carpus or the elbow or the humerus. I want to figure out exactly what location is so when I get to my next step, I'm like right on top of it, figuring it out and diagnosing the problem. The next step is the x-ray. And I know you guys are all thinking it like, yeah, Dan, like, of course, it's an x-ray. But with x-rays, a lot of times on painful dogs that have broken legs, I'll sedate them. I'll, I'll give them a sleepy injection and they'll fall asleep so I can manipulate and take a beautiful x-ray. Unlike humans, the doctor's like, hey, Dan, put your left arm up, uh, take an x-ray. Done. A dog's like, don't touch my arm because it hurts, Dan. Don't do that. Oh, my goodness. So when I have a doggy, I'm going to give them something to help them fall asleep so they're comfortable because I never want to make a doggy more uncomfortable just to get a test done. I think it's a good idea. So that's what I usually do. And when they're napping, we'll get some x-rays, and that's when we diagnose the broken bone. In the comment section, if your doggy broke his leg or her leg, please tell me which leg and what they did to fix it. Surgery? Bandage? Usually as a veterinarian, a general practitioner being awesome, which most general practitioners are, we can diagnose most of our broken bones. If it's a little bit more dicey, like it's stuck in the elbow, or it's, you know, one of these, one of these toes, you know, and you got all these little bones and you can't see everything, yeah, we may send it off for a consult to get that radiologist agreeing with us. But most of the time, we get the answer right away. Once we get that diagnosis of a broken bone, we have two options next. I'm going to start off with the more complicated one. Let's say we have a broken bone that has multiple pieces. The bone is broken in three different spots. Let's say we have a broken bone way up high next to like the shoulder where I can't stabilize it with a bandage. Let's say we have a dog that wants to run and play and do horrible with a bandage. Basically, if a bandage or a cast is not a good option, the veterinarian will refer you off for surgery. Surgery usually includes a plate being drilled in, or a pin, or maybe an external fixator, something hardcore like, you know, Robocop kind of deal. But that stabilizes it so the dog can still, you know, somewhat walk on it and heal really well. And by stabilizing the bones, it can heal beautifully. The biggest problem with bones is if we don't get them reduced in close proximity and limit the amount of motion they have, you can get a really poor healing bone or a poorly positioned bone that heals sideways or maybe a non-union that like never heals. So your veterinarian, if they're like, my goodness, this is, a, this is the dicey one, they may refer you off to see a specialist. I know I mention this a lot, guys, in my videos. Yeah, there are a ton of specialists in the veterinary world. And there are orthopedic doctors that all they do is 
They do orthopedic work. They drill bones and fix bones and put plates on. And they are hardcore and they are really smart and really, really skilled at being surgeons. Okay, so bandages, we'll say casts. Usually veterinarians do bandages. Bandages are great for if you have a broken bone. Let's say right here, guys. Right there, okay? If you can stabilize the joints below it and above it. And if you can do that, guys, and stabilize those, those joints, there's a good chance a cast will work well for you. Because if I don't stabilize this or this and these keep moving, these bone pieces keep moving and they never can heal, right? So, um, so for example, if it's way up here, guys, and you can't stabilize this joint right here, um, the shoulder joint, I mean, you're stuck doing surgery, right? But the veterinarian's like, I can stabilize this with a bandage and this, and this won't move. Excellent. Like I said it earlier, if you have a really, really bad break and you're looking at it and there's just like pieces everywhere, even if you stabilize these guys, you got all these pieces in here, it won't heal right. You need a surgeon to go in and take some pieces out, maybe do a bone graft, reduce stuff, make it look pretty again. So it's based on the location of the break. And it's also based on the severity of the break if the veterinarian will pick a bandage or they'll do surgery. Now, in most cases, you're going to have healing of the bone between six to eight weeks. It's going to be a lot, a lot of, you have a lot of uh, cartilage and uh, bone uh, proliferation really coming together at that point. Usually after 12 weeks, I feel pretty darn good that things are like really strong and healthy. Veterinarians will definitely prescribe an anti-inflammatory for pain, maybe even additional meds if we're really painful. They may even give a med for anxiety to relax the doggy so they're not running around the house, they're not panicking because of the broken leg. So medical management in conjunction with either surgery or stabilizing the leg is really the foundation for a broken leg. So guys, if this content about broken legs has helped you, please go ahead and, and like and subscribe. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Check out some of my other awesome videos that are like amazing. They're probably getting better every time because I'm getting better at this, but check them out. They're, they're not as good, but you'll probably still like them.